Indian Elephant The Indian Elephant is one of three recognized subspecies of the Asian Elephant and native to mainland Asia. Since 1986, the Asian Elephant has been listed as endangered on the IUCN Red List as the wild population has declined by at least 50% since the 1940s to 1930s, i.e. three elephant generations. The Asian elephant is threatened by habitat loss, degradation, and fragmentation. In general, Asian elephants are smaller than African elephants and have the highest body point on the head. The tip of their trunk has one finger-like process. Their back is convex or level. Indian elephants reach a shoulder height of between 2 and 3.5 m, weigh between 2,000 and 5,000 kg, and have 19 pairs of ribs. Their skin color is lighter than of Maximus with smaller patches of depigmentation, but darker than of Sumatranus. Females are usually smaller than males, and have short or no tusks. The largest Indian elephant was 3.43 m high at the shoulder. In 1985, two large elephant bulls were spotted for the first time in Bardia National Park, and named Rajagai and Kanchha. They roamed the park area together and occasionally visited female herds. Rajagai stood 3.43 m tall at the shoulder and had a massive body weight. His forehead and domes were more prominent than in other Asian bull elephants. His appearance has been compared to that of a stegodon and mammoth due to his high bidomed shaped head. Indian elephants have smaller ears, but relatively broader skulls and larger trunks than African elephants. Toes are large and broad. Unlike their African cousins, their abdomen is proportionate with their body weight but the African elephant has a large abdomen as compared to the skulls. The Indian elephant is native to mainland Asia, India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Myanmar, Thailand, Malay Peninsula, Laos, China, Cambodia, and Vietnam. It is regionally extinct in Pakistan. It inhabits grasslands, dry deciduous, moist deciduous, evergreen and semi-evergreen forests. In the early 1990s, the estimated wild populations included. There are a total of 138 state elephant corridors, 28 interstate corridors and 17 international state corridors where Indian elephant populations are found. The table below enlists the corridors. Elephants are classified as mega herbivores and consume up to 150 kg of plant matter per day. They are generalist feeders, and both grazers and browsers. In a study area of 1,130 km2 in southern India, elephants were recorded to feed on 112 different plant species, most commonly of the order Malvals, and the legume, palm, sedge, and true grass families. They graze on the tall grasses, but the portion consumed varies with season. When the new flush appears in April, they remove the tender blades in small clumps. Later, when grasses are higher than 0.5 m, they uproot entire clumps, dust them skillfully and consume the fresh leaf tops, but discard the roots. When grasses are mature in autumn, they clean and consume the succulent basal portions with the roots, and discard the fibrous blades. From the bamboos, they eat seedlings, combs, and lateral shoots. During the dry season from January to April, they mainly browse on both leaves and twigs preferring the fresh foliage, and consume thorn-bearing shoots of acacia species without any obvious discomfort. They feed on the bark of white thorn and other flowering plants, and consume the fruits of wood apple, tamarind, kumhai, and date palm. In Nepal's Bardia National Park, elephants consume large amounts of the floodplain grass, particularly during the monsoon season. They browse more in the dry season with bark constituting a major part of their diet in the cool part of that season. During a study in a tropical moist mixed deciduous forested area of 160 km2 in Assam, elephants were observed to feed on about 20 species of grasses, plants, and trees. Grasses such as Imperata cylindrica and Lyrsia hexandra constituted by far the most predominant component of their diet. The movement and habitat utilization patterns of an elephant population were studied in southern India during 1981-83 within a 1130 km2 study area. The vegetation types of this area encompasses dry thorn forest at 250 to 400 m, deciduous forest at 400 to 1400 m, 
stunted evergreen forest and grassland at 1,400 to 1,800 m. Five different elephant clans, each consisting of between 50 and 200 individuals had home ranges of between 105 km2 and 320 km2, which overlapped. They preferred habitat where water was available and food plants were palatable. During the dry months of January to April, they congregated at high densities of up to five individuals per km2 in river valleys where browse plants had a much higher protein content than the coarse tall grasses on hill slopes. With the onset of rains in May, they dispersed over a wider area at lower densities, largely into the tall grass forests, to feed on the fresh grasses, which then had a high protein value. During the second wet season from September to December, when the tall grasses became fibrous, they moved into lower elevation short grass open forests. The normal movement pattern could be upset during years of adverse environmental conditions. However, the movement pattern of elephants in this region has not basically changed for over a century, as inferred from descriptions recorded during the 19th century. In the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve three elephant clans had overall home ranges of 562 km2, 670 km2 and 799 km2 in the beginning of the 1990s. During three years of survey, their annual home ranges overlapped to a large extent with only minor shifts in the home ranges between years. The preeminent threats to Asian elephants today are habitat loss, degradation and fragmentation, which are driven by an expanding human population, and lead in turn to increasing conflicts between humans and elephants when elephants eat or trample crops. Loss of significant extents of elephant range and suitable habitat continues, their free movement is impeded by reservoirs, hydroelectric projects and associated canals, irrigation dams, numerous pockets of cultivation and plantations, highways, railway lines, mining and industrial development. Poaching of elephants for ivory is a serious threat in some parts of Asia. Poaching of tuskers impacts on sex ratios that become highly female biased, genetic variation is reduced, and fecundity and recruitment may decline. Poaching has dramatically skewed adult sex ratios in the Periyar Tiger Reserve, where between 1969 and 1989 the adult male-female sex ratio changed from 1 to 1 122. Elephant conservation in northern West Bengal has been set back due to high levels of human-elephant conflict and elephant mortality owing to railway accidents. The railway track between Siliguri and Alipurdur passes through 74 km of various forest divisions. Every day, 20 trains run on this track at high speeds. Elephants that pass through from one forest patch to another dash against the trains and die. A total of 39 dead elephants were reported during the period of 1958 to 2008, of which 10 were reported killed between 2004 and 2008. In Bangladesh, forested areas that served as prime elephant habitat have undergone drastic reduction, which had a severe impact on the wild elephant population. Habitat loss and fragmentation is attributed to the increasing human population and its need for fuel wood and timber. Illegal timber extraction plays a significant role in deforestation and habitat degradation. As a result of the shrinking habitat, elephants have become more and more prone to coming into direct conflict with humans. In Myanmar, demand for elephant ivory for making tourist items is higher than ever before. The military government shows little interest in reducing the ivory trade, while the elephants in the country have become the silent victims. After the worldwide ivory ban, Prices of raw ivory in the country skyrocketed from $76 a kilo for large tusks in 1989-90 to over $200 a kilo by the mid-1990s. Foreign tourists are responsible for the massive rise in price of ivory tusks which fuels the illegal killing of elephants. There is also a sizable trade in ivory chopsticks and carvings, smuggled by traders from Myanmar into China. Young wild-born elephants are removed from their mothers in Myanmar for use in Thailand's tourism industry. Mothers are often killed in the process, and calves are placed alongside unrelated cows to suggest they are with their mothers. The calves are often subjected to a breaking in process, which may involve being tied up, confined, starved, beaten and tortured, as a result of which two-thirds may perish. 
Elephas Maximus is listed on site's Appendix I Project Elephant was launched in 1992 by the Government of India Ministry of Environment and Forests to provide financial and technical support of wildlife management efforts by states for their free-ranging populations of wild Asian elephants. The project aims to ensure long-term survival of viable conservation-reliant populations of elephants in their natural habitats by protecting the elephants, their habitats, and migration corridors. Other goals of Project Elephant are supporting research of the ecology and management of elephants, creating conservation awareness among local people, providing improved veterinary care for captive elephants.